Hey all, it's Ventley here again, and welcome to the one of the, the second lost episode of season four. This, this is re originally recorded back in the time in 2016 between season three and season and the rest of season four, where my channel was on strike, and before my YouTube and uh, Brandon joined, but Stick was in it, and I guess we interviewed it was in it, so. It's like it's time to finally upload this video and let it join the archives of Talking Time with Caffeine. So enjoy the Lost Season 4 episode. See ya! No. Hey, welcome back to episode 2 of Season 4 of Talking Time with Caffeine. With me, as from last week, is Stick1990. And now calling himself the Phoenix King. How y'all doing? I am I'm the good. Phoenix King. I'm doing good. Get some Avatar GTA. Last Airbender flashbacks. Oh my oh god. So, I need to I need to go over to his house to explain it. I'll be back in a sec. Okay. So uh, okay. so so how's your new video that you coming all that you made coming along? Um, I haven't started it because I've been, I think next week's my last, um, I think it's, yeah, next week is my last week of school and then I'm hoping, I need, I'll still need to download the program, but I started writing the script yesterday, I think. So I, I like just got started on it. I'm hoping that it could be a really, um, good film. Um, I don't know, it's, it might be, I don't know how long it's going to be. It's probably going to be like an hour long because I, I don't know, because there's going to be a lot of stuff I'm going to cover. And I'm going to be going over, basically, like I said before, um, why Christians... I changed the name to um, why Christians should reject young Earth creationism. I'm going to show why um, it simply does not... Not only is it bad for science, it's also bad for theology as well, and Christian doctrine. So um, I think it's... I honestly think it's going to be a really good film. I think I think both atheists and Christians will like it. Or, you know. I think so. Yeah, I, I, I watched your last uh, video you posted and got a lot of haters on that video comment section. Wait, my response? Oh yeah, they got pretty upset because I guess I proved that you can't interpret hell literally. But hey, you know what are you gonna do? <laughs> so I'm probably. I'm, I might have some um, trollers when I make that video, but I don't really care. I'll probably do um, a response or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Well, that's a good. But I'm gonna. That's the thing, though, is that even if you prove something, like I want to prove that something is true, because once you prove something, and you, they can't really argue against it, since you know, it, once you prove that you can't take the Bible literally, that pretty much just defeats the whole case. Well, that's a good thing about about trolls and haters. It's it's only when you you don't have any comments that's when you not do it. It's, if you have some comments, even haters or whatever, then you know you're you're gaining the people. This when you don't have anything. Is when you're you know you're exactly. And the thing with especially creationists is that whenever like if you really want to get them hard, like if you really want to confuse them or if you really want to debunk their theology don't go after their arguments against evolution go after what they like their th theological arguments because if you can show to them that their own book contradicts what their philosophy or whatever is then you could then they have no then they have no reason to argue against evolution since yeah. you know so that i think that's the whole point is I'm gonna the first section, like I said, I kept all the names the same. First section's gonna be the introduction, then my thoughts on the creation versus evolution debate. I'm gonna be going over the history of young earth creationism on the first section and how I got started. And I, I think it started like the 1960s or 70s. And then well, that, section. It, it, wait, it's so it's that early. I yeah. Thought, I thought like started 
a little bit earlier than that, and it was that. that no, no, no. Like, what I no, what I. Nineteen sixties is when the like the creationists like, not the not the literal interpretation that started much earlier. But I'm talking about the when the actual movement started to, that that tried to go against evolutionary theory, because I think back like when Darwin wrote his book on the origin of species, they the creationist movement didn't start at that time. It started much later. That's when it really started to kick in. But I'm probably gonna go over maybe like maybe it might be like a few minutes of the literal interpretation and then how that started and why the church fathers rejected it. Yeah. <sighs> I've heard that some people say uh, that the creationists worship the book more than they do God. But well, that's the thing is that, you know, I've heard like people like Kent Hoven say that like the original, like back. Like, I don't know when, like, you know, all those famous scientists, you know, they, he claimed that they were all creationists when they really weren't. They were, there's the term creationist wasn't, I don't even think it was even a term at that time. So it's kind of dishonest for the creationists to claim that anyone that believes in a God is therefore a creationist. That's not the case, really. So. They're kind of dishonest a lot of times. True. And then I'm going to be going over the second The second section is going to be easiest. I'm going to be going over the arguments against evolution and show why their arguments are all, as you, as we all know, is sh complete straw man. Like, literally, every argument is just doesn't work. And oh, I ran out for nothing. Sorry, they weren't home. I should have waited. Alright, so go, go on, you're talking about your series. And then section three is going to be about why young earth creationism is unbiblical and is simply not supported. <laughs> That's going to be the difficult one because I'm going to have to show why oh, wait, their, their arguments for that doesn't work either. And why Christians oh, should no. just completely reject their theology, I guess. So... Say hi. And in the yeah, conclusion, hi. of course. Uh, so, so it can be a three-part mini-series. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping that I can maybe get it a, put it in a series. It's probably gonna be like five videos total, and then I might put them all together into one like hour long. I don't know how long it's gonna be, but I'll figure it out when the time comes. Okay. Well, Snick, I see you have a get a guest today in the podcast. Yep. He's trying to eat my microphone. I got to take him out of here. So, uh, so, any, you have any other, so how's your summer, how's your summer looking? Good. Well, actually, um, I was going to go to summer school, but that's not the case anymore. So I'll be free to go for the next two months. <laughs> so um, I'm hoping I need to catch up on my theology and um, apologetics stuff because I'm starting to study that now. So um, I think that'll be a good thing to learn. Cool. So what class do you almost fail? Math. Same. Well, actually, well, yeah, math. And then um, I was going to do it anyways, but to, you know, get some help on it. But I, I changed my mind. I just didn't want to deal with summer school so whatever okay what you what's your future video plans my future video plans even though i'm gonna be in upstate new york alongside Flor florida's only gonna be two weeks at upstate new york it's not every day of the week like maybe five days a week at most so upload at least a video a day damn well, my next video, I'm probably going to upload it later tonight. I'm going to do um, a video on books I read on theology because I'm really starting to study that more. Mostly natural theology, but I mean, I think it'll... I'm hope I'm trying to get more subscribers, but it's not easy because I don't have very good videos since I used to use everything on my phone. That's the hard part. That's what I started out with, like, a f a phone or... 
I just got a, a, a webcam like two years ago. <laughs> yeah. Well, I had to think I had a webcam before. It was a laptop webcam, and it was a very good quality. And I might do um, responses to other videos on YouTube because I know there's a lot of them. So, um, yeah. And then that reminds me, um, I think, I think, you know that guy that I told you about, I think it's, um, Keith Thompson, he, he is an apologist, but he's not really, I don't, he's a Calvinist, which I don't really follow Calvinism, but he's going to upload a video soon, I think, about evolution, it's called, I can't remember, it's called degrading Darwinism or something. So hopefully next podcast we can go over that video because I think he's gonna upload it soon. A a snick. All right. I, 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 okay. I say we don't we don't need a view of your crotch. <laughs> that wasn't a view of my crotch. It was a view of my lovely six pack that does not exist. Uh, so you have like a so last time you shared a video. With us, you have know, the, the you have one you, you can. Re- yeah, I refuted that one. That want, was pretty easy. You want to do it? You want, you want to share another one? I guess. I mean, um, try I to. Don't, I don't. I don't know any that I know of because I pretty much, you know, it takes about five seconds to refute it. True. Most of the time, so. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to really be a challenge. Well, let me see if I can find. Maybe let's try a. We want to try. A, Let's first look, um, who's that creationist? I can't remember. We'll find one, don't worry. Okay. So about you, Snicky, how's, uh, your, how's your issues with your, whatever you're doing? My issues? I didn't know I had issues. With, with your, your game thing, and your coat, and your dog, and... Oh, the how's the, well, the dog's upstairs, he's causing trouble. And with the codes, it looks like he has the game, so I guess I gotta sell. But maybe you can give it away as a contest or something for your subscribers, like... Oh, a giveaway, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, say if you reach, like, 300 subscribers or something, you can, like, do a big giveaway. Maybe. Like, hey, want this game? It's yours! If- if something. something. <laughs> uh, hold on. Where the freak? I can't find any All good right. ones. Oh, I don't want to do a, another view. I, I'm just trying to look up something. Let's try a Kent Hovind video. Okay. He's always good for a laugh. I know he has a YouTube channel too. I don't know if. Oh, okay. The maps are updates. I think he moved. Oh no! Wait, he's on vacation. Never mind. Uh, There's no good ones. Oh, no. Guess, guess this is a good short episode. We gotta get. Gabe and Kyle back, Gabe and Kyle, Kyle, Gabe and Brett back on here. Yeah, I know. Where's Gabe? I haven't, I haven't talked to him like in a while. I mean, I've, I've talked to him on the chat, like on Facebook, but not like, on here or on the. So. Well, I guess that's all for today. You want to? Uh, that's short. Um, like the, yeah, the, that's the, it. The, 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 is it something to talk about? Like some some, some big creation. Oh, we can. We want, you want to try a creation seminar, but they're only, they're like two hours long. I don't know if you want to <laughs> go over. Nah. Freaking. Nah. Not, not not until I get my hangout fixed. All right. So, I you have anything you want the the you you want to plug Snick? Do I want to give a topic? Anything you want to plug, or a topic, or anything you want to plug, or something? I mean, does it have to be like creationists and no, evolution, it's, it's, all that? It's random. Oh, random? Oh, yeah, the randomness. You gotta enjoy it. So, 
What do you think of games that are multiplayer only? Should games have more single player? Uh, I don't know. Um, I guess. I mean, I mean like, what's your opinion century. on games that are like multiplayer only, especially online only? I don't know. I mean, if people want to play single player, then I believe they should have the right to do it. <laughs> I agree. Um, because that was my big issue with Super Smash Bros. Four. Compared to Smash Bros. Melee and Brawl, they removed so freaking much single-player content, expecting multiplayer to hold everything up. Well, they're starting to add it where, like, the campaign mode is, like, you, other players can help you, like, in those I mean, missions. yeah. So. You, you should have a choice, because most online games are multiplayer because they're, like, 500 people playing them. Yeah. Like, like there's, like... like like Final Fantasy XIV and League of Legends and World of Warcraft and all these other games. We can do MMO games like where they have like a thousand people playing on one freaking map. <laughs> Those are called massively multiplayer. Yeah, games. but I know that. I I find it, but I've realized that unless you're playing with someone you actually know and you can talk to, is is. is at the while, it's pretty boring because you're pretty much playing a single player game yourself. Even though it's multiplayer, exactly. you're just playing by yourself, anyways, just with random people walking around. Hmm. Yep. Uh, Let's see. Jeez, I can't find any good ones. Oh my gosh. I know there was a video I saw about a week ago. But I can't remember the name of it. Hold on, let me let me try this one. I think I think um, it's called the question that no evolutionist can answer. Yeah, we gotta plan these out better. Yeah. Hold on. Can you share the screen? Huh? Can you share the screen? Yeah. Hold on. I need to. Reset my. All right. All right. Here, I'm going to see if you guys can hear this. Don, the collection of data through observation and experimentation. All right, can you hear that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we can hear that. You, you can't see it. All right. So he's. All right. So this is a film. I think it's called God versus Evolution. Hey, 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 um, send me the link. I'll see if I can. All right, hold on. I'll send it to you through. Um, the Hangouts. Okay, that works too. A scientific method is based stop, 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 on stop, the collection of hey, data. Hey, hey, stop, stop, stop playing, stop playing. Alright. Oh boy. This is a bit test for me. See, I, I, I can get a uh, thing working or not. Mm. Or not. Mm. No, I can't find it. Oh, no, there it is. Let's see. Oh, I don't know why they say atheist, like, that doesn't even make any sense. Like, there are some people that believe in evolution and believe in God, so I don't even know why they, they've already straw manned the first title, so, whatever. I can't see your screens. I went back to call and you guys' screens are like blank. Hmm. Yeah, it's not working. Oh. oh. Can't do it today tonight, I guess, so. What? what? Yeah. yeah? Oh my god. 
Oh, want me to send it through Facebook? Do you think that'll work? No, I was going to try to screen share it through uh, uh, Skype, but it's not working. Oh, okay. Anyways, well, let's we'll end this now because it's too intense with difficulties. So you want to, so Snick, you want to plug anything before we go? Plug your channel? Ah, uh, yes. After I finish Spider-Man 2, Enter Electro as a Let's Play, I'm going to do Star Wars Obi-Wan. And that Let's Play is a little bit more unique, because I swear to God, the guy that got to try and imitate Ewan McGregor in that game, um, it literally sounds like they pulled a drunk guy off the streets to do the voice. So I couldn't help but imitate him throughout most of the videos I've recorded so far. Uh, what about you, Kyle? Anything to or Phoenix or Phoenix? Say, say, Phoenix King. Anything, to, anything else to plug for before we go? Nope, got nothing to say. I think I've already said everything in the beginning. So, all right, damn see, good. See y'all next week. Hopefully, we get the bugs worked out of this. Yeah. And get that echo fixed somehow. And we'll see y'all. Yeah. All right. See y'all. Yep. Enjoy the randomness. Indeed. Yep.